Hey there guys, welcome back on this channel SwissRC and today I'm gonna introduce you to a new video series which is gonna be available soon on my channel and all these videos are gonna be about the new QAV 540G with the brushless gimbal and the video series is gonna consist out of build videos as well as programming videos for the brushless gimbal controller and part one of this build video is gonna be the brushless gimbal itself so please enjoy so here I have all the parts laid out you will need for the uh, assembly of the gimbal. This is a G10 plate with a hole, then a G10 piece for your IMU mount, your IMU top cover, some small black screws, as well as the IMU, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. So now we're just going to take the IMU mount and uh, take the hole for the cables to face towards us and laid on its head so the hole is down on the under underneath on the table then take your G10 plate with the hole and lay the hole to the left and finally screw the black small screws into the G10 through the whole plate it's quite a pain sometimes because these screws are so small they rip out very easily also do remember not to over tighten the screws into the G10 because you're just gonna rip out all the plastic and so you wouldn't be able to put the screws back in any time. Mount all the four screws on your IMU plate, and that's the first step. So, there we have it the last screw. By the way, the build quality of all the components. G10 and aluminum looks very good but that's another topic now we're gonna take the IMU plate and I don't really know which way we have to mount the IMU I suppose because the connector uh, would, um, would not enable the top plate to go on I have to mount it with the connector down so I'm just gonna take four small black screws and screw the IMU plate in. Once again I'm gonna use all the four screws but I'm not gonna over tight them because and there's a possibility that you break the PCB inside your IMU and so you couldn't use it anymore. Now we're just going to take the top cover, made out of G10 or some plastic, and I'm just going to choose the, uh, the nicer side to go on the top, and we're once again going to take four screws to mount this top IMU plate, or this cover plate. So there you have it, that's your IMU build, and now we're going to go on and mount the first motor to our, uh, to our arm. our first motor which is the motor on the side and therefore we're gonna take one motor and this black 3d printed plastic piece and we're just gonna take um, this end of the motor and slide the plastic piece on there so that the small holes I don't know if you can see that probably not so, but just so that the small holes line up with the cross on on this spacer. Now we're gonna take the other G10 plate 
but you're gonna take care that you um, mount the motor to this side where the small thinner end is so this way therefore we're gonna use 7mm long M2 screws and I have like a Havikin tool right here because the wrench is not included for those M2 screws remember to mount it the right way just like that and then I'm going to put in one screw at first That. Now I'm gonna get my lock time, which is right here. And the second screw I'm gonna attach with Loctite. Put it on the wrench. And a little Loctite to it. Just like that. And I'm going to insert it into the hole. Now I'm going to have to mount the screw to our so-called GoPro plate. And as you can see it's a Jeep template with some strips right here as well as a hole not in the center. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to align it so that the hole is on top and on on the side towards me and I'm gonna insert the long 12 millimeter 3M screw from the right like that then I'm gonna add this uh, nut but it's not a lock nut it's the only one in the kit and I'm gonna screw this on here the manual tells you to add Loctite but I'm not yet gonna add Loctite just because I first have to um, to know where the nut is gonna go. Then we're gonna take our plate with the two strips, uh, with the two holes and two strips, as well as IMU plate, I mean. And with those four, we are now able to attach the gimbal together, to put it together. So um, your GoPro plate with the screw in it, with one screw, goes to the left side of this plate right here with the two strips when the strips are on the left side as well just like that then we're gonna have to take out some uh, those screws right here, the short ones and those are gonna be inserted like this with a nut on the end so I'm also gonna take out the nut First, those are lock nuts now, so I will just um, hold this one in here, this lock nut, with one hand as good as I can. Oh, come on. And now I'm gonna screw the screw in here. You probably have to use some sort of pliers to hold this lock nut together. But for now we're not gonna tight it, tighten it up fully because we're also gonna mount our IMU plate. And if this one is on the left, the IMU goes to the right, just like that. And we're also gonna insert our motor plate in which the motor goes to towards us. Just like that. Now we're I'm gonna take this Velcro band and the manual tells us to put like a strip down here and down here. So I'm gonna do that right now.
it is it self it is adhesive so it's very easy just like that and one more strip just like that after we have done this part of the gimbal we're gonna take this little side arm which goes together at the end with the big hole in it and in this um, screw bag there is a little uh, metal thing it's called a bearing so I forgot that and we're just gonna push that in like that then we're gonna move over to our gimbal itself and we're gonna take this G10 piece with like the eight holes around the center and this is later on gonna go back here somewhere and tilt the gimbal this way so we will have to attach one motor to it. Oops. and it's gonna be a second motor once again use the small thin screws, M2 screws, about 7 millimeters long. I'm just gonna screw one of them in. But then I'm gonna use Loctite as well. Also, I think on this side you have the possibility to put on a bigger motor, a stronger, more powerful motor, which would be like the option would be like a 35 millimeter motor, if I'm not mistaken, and that's just gonna give you more stability in a video when flying at high speed. So you might want to change it out, but I don't know yet. I'm just gonna test the gimbal with the small motor first and then attach the bigger motor which my customer ordered. The next step is to attach the motor mount to one gimbal motor to this one and therefore I'm just gonna bend this wire a little bit down very carefully not to break it in here then putting the gap onto the shrink tubing and pushing it down and aligning the holes just like that and you have uh, four, four, these are probably six, extremely short screws, M3. Those are the ones you're gonna use to mount this gimbal motor arm. I once again use Loctite. And now I'm just gonna screw it in into the motor again. And to make it a little bit quicker, I'm just gonna use two screws right now. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use four, I think, because there the gimbal moves like all the time you're flying, so there's gonna be some vibrations probably, or just a lot of movement. So there you have it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna unplug this cable in order not to rip it. And now I'm also gonna detach this washer and it's not right here then I'm gonna take this piece and search for a plastic washer and I'm gonna slide this motor arm onto the screw with either of the ends doesn't really matter I believe not sure right now let me just look at the manual yeah, it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna put it on like that Put the plastic washer on there and the lock nut. And no, it's not a lock nut, so I'm gonna use some Loctite right there. Oops. 
and now put this washer on. Just like that. Probably use your pliers. So this moves pretty free actually. And now you're already gonna see what the next step is gonna be. It's gonna be this one. So I am just wondering how I wanna do the cable management. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do like that. Take these leads out here from this motor, pull them through, and lay there on this on this plate there is a big hole and a thin hole. Big hole goes down here, thin hole goes down here. So we're just gonna lay them on like this. Fits perfectly nice. And there are two pretty long screws. These two are made for this part of the gimbal, as well as some washers. And I know you can't really see it right now, but I get it. I'm gonna move my lock nut in here again. Then insert the screw, make it bite, and just secure it. Just like that. Then on the other side as well. Exactly the same procedure. One lock nut. Insert it down here. Oops, push it through, push it through again, and the other way around. Actually, you always gotta put the rubber of your lock nut on, uh, down, so the part without rubber goes uh, meets screw first, insert this one and screw it down fully. Just like that. And I'm just gonna take a look at all the screws again, if they are tight enough. The next step is gonna be just to clean the wiring up a little bit. I'm just gonna use some black zip ties and zip tie the cable from the motor on the side. To the G10, just like that, and probably also like somewhere around here, just to make it a little bit cleaner, just like that. And just cut off the excess right here, and we are pretty much done with this gimbal assembly just like that there you have it that's your gimbal <laughs>